And with the verdict in Nikhil Kreiner's case, he is found guilty of capital murder and sentenced to life in prison after the 12 person jury found him guilty for the murder of a UT student in April of 2016. KVU's Molly Oak has been covering the two week trial. She was inside the courtroom today when the verdict was announced. Molly, another emotional day. After almost 11 hours of deliberation, some of the jury members crying, others choked up when they announced their decision that Mikael Kreiner is convicted of killing Haruka Weiser. Testimonies lasted seven days with closing arguments and deliberations starting yesterday. After an 8 a.m. start time, we found out the jurors' verdict just after 2 o'clock today. Jurors had the chance to pour over any and all evidence that was shown. One juror says a key piece for them was the gray and yellow backpack seen in the storage room the surveillance video, and again in dash cam video from outside the vacant building. More tears coming to the courtroom today when Dr. Thomas Weiser, Haruka's father, took the stand to address Kreiner, sta stating simply, you killed my daughter, but then continuing by saying he believes his daughter's death saved others. But she didn't die in vain. We will never know how many lives she saved through the events of her death but judging by the arsenal of ropes and straps and cords and the plethora of gloves that you had gathered, she was the first victim in what you hoped would be a long run of unsolved murders. So the way I look at it, she won. And Weiser says while he wishes his daughter was still here, he says he finds comfort in knowing, knowing he helped, she helped stop Kreiner in his tracks. Coming up at 6, you'll hear more from Weiser and from other people who have been waiting and watching in the courtroom for this verdict. For now, live in downtown Austin, Molly Oak, KVU News. Molly, thanks.